What's up guys, James here from Seekhost. Today we're going to be going through how you can connect your domain to your hosting to make your site live, searchable, and so people can click it and go to your editable site. We'll also be explaining how it all works. So let's get down to the basics of how domain and hosting works, how they're separate and how you can connect them up. First of all, we're going to start with the domain. The domain is the actual website name, so the URL that you're going to be searching in the search bar on the internet to find the website. Your domain name and your WordPress hosting are separate. You have to register your domain name usually within periods of a year so you might get it for one year two years three years or four years or potentially renew the domain every year you can search for domains really easily and then register the one that you want these of course come with all sorts of endings such as .org .net .com .co.uk and the list goes on so first things first we need to register your domain however if your domain is registered you can still go on the internet search it and not find your website that's because there is no website connected to this domain currently it is simply the domain name that you have. Next up we look at the hosting packages. This is essentially where you're going to host the website that you're going to point the domain to. This is why the packages are different to the domain registration because your hosting offers you what you can have on your website. For instance, how much space, how much data transfer, whether it's got an SSL certificate, DDoS protection, backups, and all the good stuff that you're going to need for your site. Once you have your website hosted on WordPress and you actually have a website, you can then connect the domain with the website. This now means that when somebody searches for your website using the URL, a search engine, or typing the URL into the search bar on top of their internet browser, it will then search through and find the relative WordPress hosting site which is connected to this domain. So how do we make this connection? This is the next part of the video and we'll explain how you can now connect the two together. This is going to be done by a means of name server 1 and name server 2. Each WordPress hosting package will provide you with the two name servers. So when you start your package, you're going to be given two name servers from your WordPress hosting. Now if the name servers on your WordPress hosting don't match up to the name servers of your domain, you're not going to get a connection because it can't find where to link to. If the name servers do match from your hosting and your domain once you input them, the connection can now be made so when somebody searches for your URL or domain, they will then get taken to your WordPress site with the matching name servers. I hope that makes sense, so now let's go into actually doing it using Seekerhost. So if you are using separate hosting, just to explain this again, if you're not using Seekerhost, it's fairly easy. You have your WordPress sites on one tab and you have your domains on another tab. If you're using a different hosting or a different registrar for your domain, just look for the area that's going to manage your domains or manage your WordPress hosting. Here on Seekerhost, you first of all start with creating your site, which is to be creating the WordPress site by adding your domain, your blog title, and simply adding your WordPress site. Once this appears online, it will then provide you with the name servers. This will also be similar to any other WordPress hosting. Most hosts will give you the name servers as soon as you've started the site. Some will email them to you. Once it's up and running, just go ahead and click action. As you can see, we've been provided our name server 1, which is ns5.seekerappcontrol.com, and we have our name server 2, which is ns6.seekerappcontrol.com. Now, to make the connection, we're simply going to have to copy our name server 1 and name server 2 and we're going to add it to our domain name server section. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the top one. Back to your dashboard and again if you are using separate hosting now at this point you will look for the domain that you have registered and you will go to the manage domain section and once you're onto your manage domain section you're going to be looking for name servers or manage name servers. Here with Seekhost we like to keep it secure so you do have a domain lock if you do need to make any changes simply click this it will unlock the domain make the changes and then we can lock it up afterwards. So let's go ahead to name servers. When you first start with your domain you're going to be using usually put on use default name servers. You can leave this if you have your hosting and your domain in the same area. So for instance, for Seekerhost, if you've just got your domain with Seekerhost and you've got your WordPress hosting with Seekerhost, that's it, you don't need to change anything. You can just leave it as default name servers as these will already be in there for you. You can also use custom private name servers or you can do this if the connection is from another domain. So let's say for instance, you have a domain with Dynadot, however, you're hosting it with Seekerhost. You would then choose use custom private name servers. In the top section, you will put your name server 1. And in the second section for your name server 2, you will put the name server 2 that was provided in your hosting. So as you can see here, I have ns5.seekerappcontrol.com. And for my name server 2, I have ns6.seekerappcontrol.com. These have been input into my domain, so I can go ahead and change my name servers. So now they match between the hosting and the domain. Once you've saved that, come back and you can then just lock your domain again, just for safety to make sure nobody else can make any changes. So now we have our WordPress hosting up this is the thing that will give us the ability to actually edit our website and our domain now has matching name servers to the WordPress site meaning that we've now completed the link between domain and WordPress hosting